Greetings ladies, Sharon Danley here of Two Minute Tips for Healthy Beauty and Confident Aging. I hope you are well and you and your loved ones are staying safe in these tumultuous times. I've been doing fine keeping vigilantly safe in every way possible and pondering our world as in the state that it's in and what do I do about it or not, just like I'm sure many of you. So today I decided to go on the lighter side. I have a couple of Make Better reveals for you and in an in-depth look at how we can achieve our best looks for real women. Honestly, and without filters and other questionable tricks of the trade that only diminishes our healthy self-esteem. All done with only makeup and hairstyling. Okay, to our first contestant. Now, our first contestants before picture here. We have a, a lovely woman with um, beautiful brows. They're, they're nice and strong. She's very lucky. She's got nice big eyes uh, and a lovely, lovely smile. But let's see what happens when we do a few tweaks. Now, notice the difference. We've reshaped her brows. I've evened her skin tone more. And I've given her a lip color that's just a little bit darker, has a little bit more depth to it. And the other thing that I've done, if you'll notice at the crown of her head, I've augmented the side over her left eye so that it just rounds it out a little bit better rather than having a pointed look more towards the part side. Now, I'll bring up her guidelines for her brows. You can see that she needs to add more to the front end of her brows, take off from the top side on her right brow, and the bottoms in the front end on both of her brows. And also to shorten up her brows a little bit, don't make them too long. And cutting the hair on the brows so that they don't, it doesn't um, get in the way or cause a shadow effect. Alrighty, now let's bring in our gray stripes and have a look at each individual aspect. First, let's look at her brows. Without even seeing the rest of her face, look at how the after brows with a slightly lighter color, and I mean very slight, and shaped better and not so rounded, just give a, I don't know, they give a better feel to the face, don't they? All right, now let's take a look at her eyes. And what I've done here is just mostly cleaned up, you can see, uh, cleaned up the skin tone so that it's nice and clean looking. Remember, when you, when you want to paint a picture, you want a clean canvas. So this is the same sort of thing. And what I've done is strengthened her uh, eye liner by adding the gel liner in her upper waterline and removed and blended what she had. Then I also add a little bit of gel liner on the outer corner of the lower waterline only, but then added eyeshadow in a broom color by MAC to make them just a little bit stronger. And look at the difference that makes in having her eyes stand out. And uh, they just, they pull you in, don't they? All right, now let's take a look at it with the brows. And look at the difference that that makes in just those two things alone. Alrighty, now let's take a look at her lips. I didn't change the shape of her lips at all, but what I did do was define them. She's got lovely shaped lips, but just defined them and gave her, like I said earlier, a little bit of uh, a little bit more oomph to them, a little bit deeper in in tone, and yet I still left it highlighted in the center so that that, that augments or gives the illusion of being a, a more full or rounded lip. Okay, let's remove those stripes and have a second look here. And again, see how augmenting the crown of her hair, I should say the circumference of the crown of her hair, the difference that that makes. She's a lovely woman, and I think that this makeover, again, simple, easy, and effective, and something that you can do every day that doesn't take a lot of time to do your makeup. Alrighty. 
Let's go to contestant number two. And here is our before picture. Uh, lovely smile again on this woman, beautiful dark brown eyes um, and some beautiful gray hair too. But with the little tweakage again, let's see what we get. Ah, again, the eyebrows make the difference. Do you notice how in the front, or I'm sorry, the before picture, how they tend to pull the eye down and make it sad looking, whereas when the arch is lifted, it lifts her whole eye and brightens it. Now I've also contoured her nose, just putting a little bit of darker eyeshadow on the, on the, down the sides of her nose and towards the end to, uh, to diminish the, the, the light color at the end of her nose. And again, with her lips, I have only augmented very slightly, but in the center of the lower lip and diminished the back ends or the sides of the lower lip and brought up the right, or I'm sorry, the left side of her upper lip, lifted that a little bit more so that it was in, in alignment with the right side. All right, take, let's take a look now at her guidelines. Now you can see with her guidelines in the brows where she really needs to lift the arch quite a bit. So where she removes the hair, she has to add in in those bare spots. And again, the same idea of shortening the length of the brow for, for a, a more mature face and making sure that the brow comes into the tear duct and no further. Even though that's the trend right now, it's not smart on the 45 plus gang. And you can see where I've given her some uh, uh, guidelines for her lips, where I've, as I said, I diminished the sides and augmented the center of the lower lip and raised the left side, <clears throat> excuse me, of the upper lid. Alrighty, now let's take a look at our stripes. And first of all, looking at the brows. I'll just lower this a little bit more. <clears throat> see the difference that 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 does in the in the eyes when you just lift the arch a little bit in a case like this and how squaring it off a little bit more at the front end helps to uh, uh, um, helps to bring it in alignment better. If you look at the before picture with the slant that she has going towards the arch, it accents the roundness of the shape of her brows. Alrighty, now let's take a look at her eyes. Now I've done exactly the same thing with this femme fatale. I've put gel liner in the upper waterline and the outside corner of the lower waterline then added the uh, eyeshadow along the lower lash line. And with a hooded eye, this is where you're going to get your pop and your punch from. Now also with her, I've done the hooded eye approach where I've dropped eyeshadow along the lash line and then blended it up and out towards the outer side. Now, she doesn't have to do that if she doesn't want to. She can just do the, the liner and the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, mascara or false lashes and not bother with the eyeshadow, but it's an option for her if she wants to go that route. Now let's add the eyebrows back in and look at the difference that that makes. Again, having a cleaned up, uh, you know, porcelain-like um, skin tone where you're not seeing marks or lines or anything. And not that you want to get rid of anything, it's just a question of color. So when you even the color around the eyes, then what happens is the eyes are able to stand out more because they're, the eyes and your lips are your communication tools. All right, let's look at her contouring of her nose. Now you can see, oh, I'll leave that there. You can see where just a little bit of contour down the sides of the nose, and I tend to use a color like Max Eyeshadow Coquette, or um, you know, uh, if you're using a foundation powder like the Studio Fix, maybe a couple of shades darker, you can use that there too. That that works just as just as well. But it does make a bit of a difference, and it and it, and it doesn't take much to do it. Alrighty, let's look at her lips now. Yes, 
Now you can see where I have um, augmented the center and taken away a bit of the shine. This is where uh, working with matte finishes is much, much better and really we need to use matte finishes when we're correcting our lip shapes. shapes. So I've removed some of that, that shine and highlight Although I did leave some there in the after pictures, you can see in the center of her bottom lip, and I defined that lower bottom lip a bit more. It makes a huge difference in just that very slight bit of lip correction. Okay, now the other thing that I've done with this contestant is I have uh, raised or lifted the circumference of the crown of her hair and look at the difference that that makes in the overall presentation. See if you look at the before picture and you see how the the eyebrows are kind of drooping down at the sides well with her hair higher in the center and flatter at the sides all that does is uh, accent that droop even more. Just study that for a second. Now in the after picture, you can see where the lifted uh, arches of the brows and the lifted crown gives a completely different feeling and shape to her entire face. Okay, so uh, I just want to remind you that um, if you want to uh, uh, subscribe to the channel to do so and here's here's where you do it let me find it here it is make sure that you subscribe and if you're looking for something specific you can put it into the um, into the search bar there with the red circle on your right hand side or you can go directly to the playlists and you'll find everything there every playlist and and uh, you know if you're looking for makeovers or you're looking for uh, hair extensions there all those uh, all those are in the same category so it's a very easy um, very easy for you to find so that's it for today ladies uh, not not too long a video um, but I just want you to remember that it's not how much makeup you wear but how well you wear it that really counts what I'm wearing today, in case people are asking, is the Maybelline 24-Hour Superstay number 25 flame, and I have 150 over top. In the center, it has a bit of a sheen, but I just bring it to the center because I, too, have to correct my hair. And this is just a really fast, easy ponytail, back comb the hair, wrapped it around in a circle, stuck in a couple of pins, and it's nice and cool uh, and, uh, and uh, makes, you know, I, I don't have to be bothered with my hair all day. This will stay till I take it down. So I hope that you continue to keep well. Let me know if, if, if you enjoyed this. If you'd like me to show you more of these, I'd be happy to do that. Or if you're, if you're ready to go back to I'm the boss of me and I can bring that up again. In the meantime, please stay safe. Uh, love your family. Be with them as much as you can. And, and I would suggest that journaling, especially during these times, is a really good thing to do. It helps to keep you maintained in your equilibrium. And also, look, look for some projects that you can do that you haven't done before. I mean, there's so many things available that we can do online. And we can practice doing our makeup and hairstyling so that you have three good hairstyles that you can count on and makeup that you can count on as well. You know, I mean, this makeup is like my senior seniors makeup. I have a video on that fast, easy. It takes me like five minutes to do it. It's so quick and easy, lasts all day. And under my mask, I had to go to the market today. Under my mask, my lipstick, when I come home, it's it's everything's still there. So that's the beauty of, of the makeup that I recommend that it, 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 it works well, it wears well. And uh, it, it helps you feel your best. Anyway, take care, ladies. We'll see you soon, and um, stay safe. Mwah.